Hey guys, it's Brooke here, and I wanted to do a quick follow-up to my Wellness Wednesday chat last night about all things hormone, right? Everything from hormone imbalance to low libido, menstrual cramps, premenopause, perimenopause, all of that was a quick sneak peek of my bathroom routine. So hormones, if you've been following me, you know it's been a struggle for almost 10 years now, and I've pretty much got it handled as long as I do all the right things and I take a preventative approach rather than a reactive approach to hormone balancing. So I'm here I'm in my popular pink bathroom and I say popular because people always remember it whenever I film in here. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I do every day to help um, preventatively as far as essential oils go. I do take some supplements, lifelong vitality, absolute must because if we're not getting all the right food and minerals and nutrients and our hormones will never be balanced. And then on top of that, um, essential oils are dependent on matter, the kind of matter that's found in foods. So we could use all the essential oils we want, but if we're not actually having those um, kind of building blocks in our body, the essential oils aren't gonna be as effective. So always, always, always nutrition supplementation is first, and especially omega fatty acids. Us women need them for so many reasons, but a lot of us aren't aware, or I wasn't even until recently, that um, fatty acids are the building blocks for hormones. So if you're not getting all your essential fatty acids, then your hormones will never be balanced, and that would not be fun. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom, like I said, and I just finished showering, so the first thing I do before I get dressed is Clary Calm. This is doTERRA's monthly blend for women. You guys, it has amazing essential oils in here to create this awesome blend that's specific to our health. So ovaries, uterine, all of the things it's gonna support. So every day I put this on and I roll it from ovary to ovary. And then I'll do twice a day as needed during my cycle when things get a little crazy. So Clary Calm is the first thing. I'm starting to think I should probably do some more bicep curls at the gym because my arm is already tired from holding my phone. <laughs> I digress. The next thing that I do is I get Clary Sage. And I'm so crazy about Clary Sage that I do not run out. I have three bottles in my bathroom. Look how crazy I am about it because it's so good for you. So good for hormone balancing, so good for um, mood fluctuation, for hormonal acne, for hormonal headaches, um, hormonal weight gain. I mean, you name it, low libido. Clary Sage is a rock star. So all I do is I put a drop under my tongue every day. Yes, I am hardcore when it comes to essential oils and I'm also lazy. You do not have to put it under your tongue. You can put it in a capsule. I just put it under my tongue because I'm like, this is easy. I get this all done together. Clary sage under the tongue. And then I add two friends with it to kind of mask the taste. Copaiba, right? You guys know I'm a huge fan of Copaiba. It's great for reducing inflammation in the body and inflammation can cause hormone imbalance. Crazy, I know. Um, and then the third thing is the king of the oils, frankincense. Frankincense is great for our bodies on a cellular level, helps balancing our bodies, helps reduce inflammation in the bodies, helps support our thyroid, our endocrine system, which all regulate our hormones. So one drop of each under the tongue, clary sage, copaiba, frankincense, roll clary calm uh, across my abdomen. That's really my morning routine for supporting hormones. The only other thing I will use as needed Oh shoot, I didn't put the cap on, I was about to drop it, um, is neroli. This is really good for um, those times of the month where like agitated, easily angered, irritable, all those things. Smells phenomenal, it's a great perfume. Or you can use Adaptive doTERRA's new line, which I've been using for almost a month now and I swear by it. So that's a quick rundown on my little hormone Routine outside of the essential oils, of course, is LLV and phytoestrogens. It's one of my things. So, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment here. And thanks for checking out the video. And I hope if you guys struggle with 
any type of hormone imbalance that you'll give these a try because natural remedies are always the way to go, um, especially if we can cut down a lot of side effects using things that actually help our body and not hurt our body. So thanks guys.